Yo, what is going on guys? Matt back here and today I'm going to do my final part of my bait arsenal here that I'm going to show you. Um, you can check out all the other videos. I'll link them down below. Uh, I believe it was like a three or four part video so far and I showed you guys what's in the garage as well. This is just what I have in my bins here. So um, this one may be a longer video. I'm going to try to do it all in one so I might push 20-30 minutes. So uh, stick around and um, be sure to make out or be sure to check out uh, I have a giveaway going on to win an ardent elite bait casting reel I'll link that down below too and then I may do a little giveaway at the end of this video So if you guys want to see that just skip towards the end and you guys can see that but uh, Let's get into this right here Already up first here. I just got a huge bag of line. I won't go into huge detail, but um, I got everything from floral mono braid Finesse fishing, flipping, cranking, uh, anything you really need is in there. Um, got Strong Braid, Bright Ardent, got some FC Sniper, Suffix, Sunline, Seagar, and maybe a few others, but um, that's my line. Uh, I really don't have a setup for it right now to put it, so it's really just in a Walmart bag. Uh, something I'll show you that I did differently here is in this bag here uh, since I got to hold my camera let me pause it but in this bag here I changed something uh, this is a new bag that I got by Bass Mafia it's called the boss bag and this is gonna hold my jigs and spinner baits now so uh, let's get right into it alrighty so here's what the inside looks like so now all my jigs and everything like that uh, from finesse jigs footballs uh, spinner baits are all going to be inside this boss bag here. Uh, I got everything labeled. So everything's going to be in the bags like this. Uh, I really like this method. I didn't like it at first. Uh, the bags seem really, really small. And again, this is a $50 bag. Do I think the bag is worth the price? Definitely not. This thing is not even close worth the $50. It's a total ripoff. But um, after sorting everything out and get everything in here, um, I do like it. Um, I think it's going to do uh, do well. Uh, it's going to help me find stuff a lot easier. Um, a lot of people recommend using the, I think this it's the 3700s, uh, tackle trays by Bass Mafia. I think that's what they are. But I have so many different jigs and similar colors and sizes of the same brand, same color, that that box got filled up so fast. Um, I really don't want to carry a ton of boxes. So after sorting out, you can see those are all empty ones that were full at one point. After sorting stuff out and organizing, I was able to downsize a lot of boxes, which just makes it easier for me when I'm out on the water. But um, yeah, this is the Bass Mafia Boss bag. Um, worth the price, no, but I think I will like it as time goes on. There's a really tiny finesse jig. I don't got many in there. But I got, uh, everything from Dirty Jigs, uh, Picasso's, Berkeley's, New Tex, uh, just a bunch of other style jigs in there. There's my swim jigs. And I'm going to have everything organized from size too, so smaller sizes, and I'll have them by brand too. So we'll do, say, smaller sizes from one-fourth all the way up and just keep going and get heavier and heavier. And then my swim jigs and spinner baits will be on this side. But um, I like it. I think it's going to be good, but uh, definitely not worth the price, that's for sure. Already up next, we got a drop shot uh, box right here. I put drop shot fish. Um, this is just all my uh, fish style drop shots. You see I got tubes up there. Um, those will be moved. Again, I'm just organizing and getting everything ready. But those tubes will come out. And so will these worms down here. Uh, I got some hog tonic extended in there. And these are all these are all the PTL drop shot baits. And then these were, I think, some type of lunker hunt minnows. I don't remember the exact name, but... Again, there's tubes that will come out also but these are all my smaller drop shot baits I try to keep like eight eight to ten uh, style baits in there while I'm out and then leave the rest at home and restock when I'm off the water so there's my drop shot box and we'll get on to the next one 
Already up next, we got some wacky baits here. I got the uh, the wacky the wacky tool in the middle there with all the O-rings. Uh, these are some Power Team lures, stick baits, and then we go up to I think those are Strike King up top there. I forget what these little guys are. I do not remember the name of these, but they're a little they're a little fish style wacky rig. And they actually look really good in the water. Um, I'll try to leave a link down below. If I remember what these are called, I'll look at Tackle Warehouse and leave the link. But these actually have a really killer action, and they did really well. Uh, these are some little Bass Pro style. Again, these are all the wacky tools, O-rings and stuff like that. Um, not all of them are in here. Uh, that's just some of the colors I really enjoy fishing with and have the most success with. So there is my wacky rig box there. And again, I pretty much like to use all Flambo and Plano style tackle boxes. Uh, up next, we got some tubes. Uh, these are all by Power Team Lures, I do believe, in this one. The food chain tube. They're all right there. That's like black and blues, PB and J's. Some brown, purple flake. Got like a natural crawl over there with the brown. Susky Slayer right there. One of my favorite colors. Uh, so on some days I'll carry a whole bunch of those. Because man, once in a while fish just destroy them all day long. There's some um, purple. Or not purple. Uh, brown blue swirl there. So that's all my food chain tubes by power team bluers in that box right there all right guys right here's the little kitek swim bait box and uh some other swim baits in here these bigger ones right here are power bait swim baits uh see i got a picasso head rigged on there already uh, these are i think five to six inches i think actually five inches right there and then these bigger ones are seven inches over here and then we go into some of the kitex uh this is smallmouth magic up top this is a new, their new black shad color there. Um, not as good as the old one. It's more of a, a blue pearl with a black back, but still a good looking color. And these are really, really tiny baits right here. Really, really small. Try to set it up next to my pinky. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but really, really small bait. I think it's two inches maybe, if that. I got two of those. And I actually use that for my slide right over here to show you. I use it for rigging on this style head right here. I don't know why this camera's so shaky today. I can't figure it out. Unless it's just my hand, I'm shaky, I guess. But that's what I use those little little baits for is to put them on rigs like that. So there's my little swim bait box. Uh, that'll change because the power baits will come out and Kitex will go in. Already up next, I got some drop shot. Uh, these are some of my larger ones. I call them drop shot or for power shotting, which if you guys haven't heard, uh, power shotting is you use a big uh, like EWG hook and I call it power shotting. I don't know if that's a saying or not, but that's what I call it. And you basically use it just like a drop shot. Rig it the same way and everything, just with a much larger bait. So I got all my different style worms in there. Some PTL stuff. Biospawn right there up top. I don't remember all the brands, so I'm sorry about that, but that's my power, sheet, power shot box, or large drop shot box, and then here, right below that, we go into some drop shot worms, right there, so we got Kytec and Biospawns in there, PTL,
Those are the biospawn plasma worms right there. Up top are those are the Kitek leeches. That's a PTL. Uh, I forget what this is. I think this is a lake fork, lake fork style bait. Really, really small. Nice shad imitation, but in an orange, green pumpkin color. Kind of could represent a little perch, perch fry or something like that. PTL worms there. So that's my drop shot worms. And then right underneath that, these are uh, swim baits. Most of them are power team lures. And then I got some Berkeley stuff there. Those are the swinging hammer sheds. And the rest are Berkeley. And this is a different style that I got in a mystery tackle box. I don't remember the brand of that at all. But if you guys get mystery tackle box or lucky tackle boxes, you've probably seen that in there. And these are some Rage Tail. I think these are called the Elim Eliminators. It's got like an eel, eel tail on there. Really good action with this bait, actually. So that is the end of that row of boxes there. And then we'll get on to these ones right here. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the video. Um, sorry if it's taking so long, but I want you guys to get a, at least a decent look at what's in the boxes. If I took them out all one by one, it's just going to take super, super long. But if there's anything you guys want to see that you've just saw closer or a review of, just leave a comment down below. Alrighty guys, here we got a little box of flukes. Um, I don't fish them too often, but they're such a good bait. Um, I don't think you really need a huge box for them. Um, I pretty much just use the zoom style, uh, Super flukes and the salty flukes. Uh, different sizes there. Um, and then a couple different ones I don't know the brand of. But I really like these ones right here. I'm actually going to try these as soon as the ice on thaws. A really nice looking bait. Really fat. Got the hook slot in there and everything. But just a really fat body. Pretty interesting. But that's that's my flute box right there guys. Nothing Nothing crazy. Just the most common colors. I try to stick to the pretty much natural colors. I don't think you need anything too crazy. The more natural, the better in my opinion. Here we got some grubs. Uh, don't fish grubs too often unless I put them on the back of swim jigs, spinner baits, stuff like that. There's my grubs right there. And a couple small a rigs in there I don't fish those too often either but those are just the three hook style uh, beetle spins in there with the really tiny grubs but those are my grubs right there um, the majority's P power team lures right here all power team lures are on there and then these are different there's my grub box put you to the side and here we go into beaver slash creature baits. Um, these three down here at the bottom are Kitex. And then these I don't remember the name of. I just remember getting a ton of them. Oh, uh, I don't remember the name of these. I'm sure somebody knows looking at them. Uh, more Kitex up at the top. Those are uh, the bombs. Again, pretty much natural crawlers. Craws, uh, green pumpkin, blue flake, solid green pumpkin. There's like a green pumpkin, red flake, slash watermelon. Then you got your black with chartreuse or blacks and blues there. So... Beaver and Creature Bait Box. Um, I really like to have everything labeled too. Uh, it helps out a ton when you're looking for uh, baits. Um, everybody labels them differently. My handwriting is terrible. I write really fast. As you can tell, that handwriting is horrible. But it gets the job done. So we got shaky headworms in here. Boom. These are my shaky headworms. 
These are by a company called Z-Bait. You guys can look them up. I'll leave a link down below. These have no salt in them whatsoever, so they're going to be a lot more durable. And they're going to float really, really well. Um, a lot of tournament guys use these when they're out on the water, just so they don't have to change so often. I mean, one bag of these could probably last a whole tournament. bunch of different style worms these are by zbay too uh, you can do a little bit of everything with these really interesting bait there I mean you can split the craw or the tail up and make it look like a crawfish uh, you could probably even wacky rig it if you wanted to it's pretty cool so that right there is my shaky head box right there already up next we go into some craws a uh, bunch of different styles of craws here we got some biz baits up top this one right here reminds me of like the zoom speed craw it kind of reminds me of that here's another biz bait one I won't, I'll probably fish this one by itself right here. Shaky head, a Texas rig. And this is the same bait right here, but in a smaller size. And I'll fish that on like a jig or something like that. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, we go to some PTL baits right here. These have the skirt on them already. So you can just Texas rig that and fish it just like a jig. I really like that a lot. Uh, a couple of those. This is a bigger size right here. Solid green pumpkin that was just like a red red craw, delta craw. Here's another one by PTL. That that little piece of plastic right there you trim off is just to keep the bait uh in good condition, not get bent up and stuff like that. You just trim that off. Uh, we got some zoom speed craws in there, some pack craws, uh, V and M. We got some Berkeley chigger craws there. Uh, looks like a speed craw right there. So that's just a box of craws, a bunch of different styles. And again, I like to use a lot of the uh, flamboya and plain old tackle boxes. Once in a while, I have something random. I don't even know what this is, but. Uh, pretty much everything gets switched over. Right here, we got some more power shot worms and shaky head worms. These are PTL and Biospawn Bio Plasma Tails. And then two unknown brands. I Actually, I know this brand. I don't remember the name of it, but I know it's not available anymore. But it's in a chartreuse pepper. And I got it from the Bass College, I believe. And that thing is killer. Um, I try not to use them too often. Um, I, I like to use them when I'm tournament fishing because those things are absolutely insane. For whatever reason, fish love them. So there's my Power Shot Shaky Head Box number two. Here we go into my Conviction Craws. These are craws that I like to fish by themselves. Uh, they do really well. Catch tons of bass on these. These are all by Power Team Lures, and actually I got, I don't know why, those will be moved. Those are Biospawn, Biocross. These bright white ones here are used for bedding. There's some more Biospawn in there. Uh, but yeah, these are all the Conviction Crawls up top, and all on the side here. So we got uh, Green Pumpkin Blue Swirl, Solid Green Pumpkin, Watermelon Red Flake, Black Blue Swirl, Black and Red Flake and pearl white and delta craw which is a green pumpkin red the rest of these two right here are bio spawns and those will get moved out of that box up next we go into a punching bait box hard to open with one hand and there are my punch baits i wish i could remember all these a lot of the uh, d-bombs i believe they're called which are these right here these beavers. These things are amazing. Uh, one of my favorite baits to punch by far. 
Got this big bad guy right here. This scene is sick. I love punching this scene. Giant tubes. More of these beaver styles. Here's my punch beat box. And then the last box right here is just random. I just threw a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, it's going to be changed. But as I was sorting through stuff, this was just access stuff that I didn't know what to do with yet. Got the zoom toad. Got some little drop shot baits. Gobies there. Well, I don't know what these are. Little tiny, tiny Cinco's. Some more D-bombs. Some power team lures hinge worms there big 10 inch style right there got some lizards by aj lures i really like these lizards a lot they've done me so so good um some big tubes again some creature bait and then some other little tiny beavers and that is the end of that box and that is pretty much everything guys i'll show you um i just got a bunch of these in right here these are a bunch of kytex uh this one impact fats 3.8 inch and 4.8 inch in their black and blue color and their new black shad color and i'll leave a link to my instagram you can check out uh, a photo of those that i took a picture of where you can see a closer look and then I just changed some stuff in here for my uh, Kytex swim baits. These are the 4-inch swimming impacts. These are the skinnier style ones right here. And I got all the Picasso jig heads right there. Different sizes. And then uh, the bladed one and also a new tech uh, jig head by itself there. And that's actually right there is their new black shad color. Again, it's got more of a bluish pearl to it than the older version did. But still, regardless, pretty good. And here, whoa, focus, are the Kytec 3.8 and 4.3 Swing Impact Fats. So these are the, the thicker style lures. Again, there is their new black shad color let's see if i can get the focus you can see there at the bottom is more of a pearl blue than just a white style belly but still it still looks good i still like it there's their red red color there so that is, I believe, everything, guys. Um, and then here, I just got a couple spinner baits that will be moved into that Bass Mafia bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little bait arsenal, guys. Um, let me know if you guys want to see anything up close and in person. Uh, more detail or review of. I'm just trying to do it kind of fast because I'm pushing uh, 24 minutes now. So.